For users who are new to the system, this quick video will show you how to quickly submit to a call for entry. The first thing you'll do when you land on the home page is either click the register and apply or simply click the register button. If you've applied to a previous call or already have an artcall.org account, you can click the login button instead. I'm going to go ahead and click the register and apply to create my account. You'll fill out this form and then hit create account. So I'll select the create account option here. And you can see the second step it's going to take you to is to update your profile. This form will look slightly different depending on the required fields that your call is requiring. You can see for this specific sample, I need to enter in my phone number. So I'll just put a fictional phone number right here and I need to enter in my date of birth. So I'll select here and choose a date here. Next, I can add a biography and then some optional social fields as well if I want to link out to my Instagram or personal website, for example. All you need to do then is click Update User Profile. You'll notice that when I click Update User Profile, I'm going to get an error. And that's because I forgot to fill out one of the missing fields that are required. You can see as I scroll down, it's telling me that this field cannot be left empty. I did not fill out my biography. So I'll just add a simple statement here so that that field is now filled out. And now when I click a update my user profile, I should then be redirected to the add new submission page. So this page is what we call the user dashboard. On the user dashboard, you can see a little bit of information about how many submissions you're able to add per user, as well as the entry timeline, when entries are open and when entries are closed, as well as the acceptance status notification email when you should expect to hear from your submission results. You can always log in after this date to see submission results as well. All you'll do at this point is simply click the Add New Submission button. So I'll click Add New Submission, and then I will fill out this page, which are details about the actual submission. Again, these settings will vary depending on the specific fields that your call is requiring. So I'll come in here and select a category, and then the fine art, and then the acrylic for the subcategory. I will go ahead and give my uh, title here. I'll just use the same example there. So I'm going to call this the Mona Lisa, and I'll give it the dimensions. And then I can briefly describe the entry. I'll give this thing a sale price. And then it wants me to add the creation date. So again, I can put in a date here into that field. I'll need to agree to the terms and conditions that are set forth by this call and then simply click submit entry details. This will then take me to the step two where I can attach the submission images. So here you'll simply click the attach file and then browse your desktop or you can drag and drop onto this field to attach the images for your submission. So I've selected this image from my downloads here. And I'm going to go ahead and click the upload button. And this will bring up the previewer. Now I'm using this photo as a sample because typically you want to crop out all of the exterior information. So I'm going to scale this thing down for the crop and cut my image out to where it's inside of the frame. You may or may not want to leave the frame. You can always keep the frame, but this option allows you to cut out any background information that may be present in your picture. You just want the artwork without any background information visible. So I'll select there and then go ahead and click done. And that will then crop out my background and upload this image and redirect me to the home page. So you can see once that's done, this is going to create the thumbnails and then redirect me and tell me that submission has now been submitted successfully. And that is all you need to do. Note that you can always edit any of the submission details up until the submission deadline. So if for some reason you need to edit any particular details, you can come down here to the My Entered Submissions and click the Edit button. And you can always edit anything at any time. So I'm going to go ahead and update this description and click on the Update button. If you need to update any user profile Im information, you can click up here on the top right and click on Edit User Profile and update any of that information. So I'll go ahead and fix the phone number that was malformatted and then go ahead and click Update there as well. You may want to add more images than a single image. For example, maybe you have a 3D work or maybe you want to show a detail view. If your call allows for that, you can click the Add Attachment button and add a second image 
or a third image up to three depending on the settings for your specific call. You can see that this one is allowing me to add up to three attachments so I can add additional attachments to my submission. I'm going to simply add the exact same attachment. I'm going to click done here. I'll leave the background so we can visually distinguish the two once this uploads. This will create the thumbnails and upload the image and then I will again be redirected to the user dashboard. So you can see I'm back on the user dashboard and you can see now that submission has both of those attachments. If you'll be physically dropping off your submission to a specific show, typically you'll want to print the submission label and attach that to back of your artwork before dropping that off. You can click this print label button and print that page as needed. If your call requires an entry fee, when you go to add a new submission, you'll be presented with a payment form in order to pay for the specific entries and the associated costs with that specific call. After the jury end date, when you log in, you'll be able to see the status of your submission. You can see here in this user sample of John Smith, this first submission was juried in because it's green and has a thumbs up. And these second two submissions were juried out because they are red and have a thumbs down. You can see the status and what each of the symbols mean down here in the key. If for some reason you need to edit a specific image, you can always come to a single image, click the edit button, and then delete that attachment. That will then allow you to reattach a new attachment. By default, the first image that you upload is what's considered the featured or main image of your submission. If you have multiple images and you want a different image to be the featured image, you can select the edit button and say set as featured. This is mainly used for the web gallery, as the web gallery will only display a single image. So if your call is publishing a public web gallery, the featured image is what will show in the web gallery. And lastly, if you need to upload a profile image, you can simply click the Upload Profile Image button here. You can then attach a headshot for your submission profile. So I'm going to upload this image here. And you can see that this image is fairly large and there's a lot of background information. So I'd want to crop this image down so that it fits just underneath the actual profile of your specific image. Once you have that cropped to a desired crop, go ahead and click Done. And that will then set this image up as your permanent profile image. You'll see once that's set up in the upper right, your user will now have your profile image set as well.